as you're watching TVC News at 10. Nigerian Christians have been asked to turn to God and pray for prosperity and peace in the country. Religious leaders say Nigerians must complement efforts to promote peace, economic growth and development. Jane Francis Sumweze has won this. Citizens have been advised to explore alternative peaceful means of expressing their grievances. This was one of the messages delivered from the pulpit at a national prayer for peace, calling on Christians to gather and pray for the nation and its leaders. The program is to gather people to pray for Nigeria, the president, and all our leaders. Because when we pray for the well-being of our leaders, they will have the good heart and the good health and the right mind to be able to do what we need in our country. That's why we organize this prayer program. Christian leaders are reminded of their responsibility to teach and guide the faithful right. We must teach our members the right thing to do. In hard times like this in a country, what we need to do is to pray, is not to protest, is not to abuse government. Participants of the special national prayer for Nigeria, the president and all leaders express their faith in God and acknowledged the impact of the program. We are all Nigeria. When we are praying for Nigeria, everything that pertains to all these attacks, it will be resolved. At this point in time, I think our nation really needs prayer. It has gone beyond ordinary physical things that we see physically. I think it is the best thing to do. Without prayer, you can do nothing. Without God, you can do nothing. God can do all things. As Nigeria navigates challenging times, Christian leaders are urging citizens to seek divine intervention and work towards peaceful solutions by turning to prayer and reflection. Nigerians can foster a sense of unity and hope for a better future. Jane Francis Mwese, TVC News, Abuja. And here in Lagos, Nigerians have been advised to be patient with the government reforms as the nation goes through challenging times. Well, this plea is coming from church leaders 